channel I do hope you're doing well well I know I said I wasn't gonna go to the shops and look at the Valentine's Day bits but your girl was bored one day so she just had a little mooch down to some essential shops that were open and picked up a few bits so this can be for him for her for yourself if you just want to treat yourself in these times but yes we're gonna feature the range Good old home bargains and Poundland. I did go to my local B&M and they must have been in the middle of like merchandising because they didn't have anything and that slightly saddened me. I would love to have featured B&M within my other favourite bargain shops and yeah unfortunately it wasn't. So the red jumper is on, the red lip is on, we're trying to get in the festive love spirit. I do feel very Christmassy all in red again but nope it's for love this time so yes get comfy get cozy and i hope this gives you some ideas if you haven't been able to get anything because there's no need to be spending hundreds and hundreds on each other it's the little things that matter and some of these stuff as i say well from panland it's a quid but yes yeah, so i need to stop rambling and let's get in with the video <laughs> what shall we start with as i say we have a fair size bag from the range and then a good size bag from Home Bargains and Poundland. Let's kick off with the range because they didn't have much Valentine's stuff. They had a lot of Easter and Mother's Day bits coming in, which, not gonna lie, I might end up doing like a Mother's Day collective gift guide, kind of like this, but for Mother's Day and possibly Easter of like Easter decor. I did see an Easter tree online and not gonna lie, I was really tempted to purchase it because when I went in the range, they had these gorgeous glass egg-shaped baubles. And I was just like, oh. And mum was like, no, when you're in your own house, you can have your Valentine's Day tree, you can have your Easter tree, you can have your Halloween tree and your Christmas tree. In our house, we're only having the Christmas tree. So that saddened me a little, but we managed to pick up a few little bits. So these were one pound and they're simply just a placemat and coaster set so oh hello <laughs> so that is your placemat and then your coasters are just down here and i think looking at the size they fit in there so you could have it in or if you wanted to have it separately but i thought four oh and they've got little parts as well oh that's cute I don't know if you can see, there's a couple of like little hearts outside of the packaging. Actually, there's a load of little hearts. Oh, that's really cute. So yes, they will be going away because it's not like I'm going to be having a nice Valentine's dinner this year, is it? No, but saying that, it is a Sunday. So, there's a little restaurant in my local area that have just started doing takeaway roasts and I've seen their photos all over Instagram and they look delicious so i'm thinking do i just treat myself and not cook a roast but get a good roast in you know who knows so they could come out i highly doubt it but they'll go away for when i move out at least and then what ah right you're probably gonna think meh this can be a gift all year round but i just thought in this current circumstance of the way the world is at the moment i saw this melon moisturizing hand sanitizer antibacterial for 50 ml and i believe this was one pound 50 and i just thought it was really cute actually let's just open it this i bought for me anyway it's not like it was going to go to brandon can i open it oh ow good job i ain't got long nails anymore Why are you not coming out? Have you got a stopper? <gasps> it's got a stopper on it. There's my, I don't like these things because I can never. <gasps> oh, that was easy enough. It's harder when I have my long nails, actually. Oh, you know me. I love a bit of melon. It's not too watery. Oh, it's a little bit. It's going to sound really weird. You know, like a little bit luby. It is a little bit slippery, but, oh, it smells divine. And you know what? That is cute. I like that. I wish I'd have actually got more. Hey-ho, on my next visit, I'm going to pick up a couple more of them, I think. And then, <laughs> the way to, not just my heart or a man's heart, I think the way to most people's hearts, food. So this is a Cheetos Twisted Flaming Hot Share Bag. 
come on my lovelies we all know the drill now it's not a share bag it's a shannon bag and this just really reminded me of on holiday because when we are on holiday all we eat is lays and cheetos and when i saw that i thought you know what let's just try and our sorrows eh? and then oh i loved this right this <laughs> i think i can see this being in maybe a utility room or in the hallway and it was only $1.99 and when I saw it I thought you know what that's the right bargain and it's a little metal sign which is the five deadly terms used by a woman I just think this was so much fun so we have number one the most deadliest term used by a woman fine this is the word women use to end an argument when she knows she's right and you need to shut up number two nothing which means something and you need to be worried number three go ahead this is a dare not permission do not do it number four whatever that's a woman's way of saying screw you and number five it's okay she is thinking long and hard on how and when you will pay for your mistakes that i think it sums us up don't it i don't think that is just for women though because no offence, I know a few men who use those terms and they have the exact same meanings for a man. So I think it should just be five deadly terms used by the human species. Let's not genderise it to women. I think it's just everyone in general can use them. But yes, I saw that for one ninety nine, and I thought, you know what, we'll pick that up. And then the last little thing I picked up from the range, this was three ninety nine, and not going to lie, this is for when I move out. But it's just this gorgeous, cute little heart-shaped wicker basket. Now, I have a vision. I have a vision, you hear. Um, either sweets when I move out, or this would be really cute. I was thinking with the placemats, like a bread basket. Put some red napkins in and put your nice bread basket. Put a little bit of butter in there. I don't know, I just saw it and it was heart shaped and I thought it went with a the theme. But, oh my god, the range, as I said, they was getting that Easter bits out. They had Easter wreaths. Oh my god, they were so nice. A little bit pricey. Some of them was pushing £20 and I think, oh, I don't quite know. Um, my shed is currently filled to the brim with the Halloween, Autumn and Christmas bits. I don't know if I start an Easter collection, whether we physically have the room to store it, but... Who knows what might be coming in future hauls, you know. If we're still in lockdown by Easter, which I pray we're not, but if we are, then I'm going to have to decorate the house again. So, who knows. But that, my lovelies, was our little bit in the range done. And what should we move on to next? Home bargains. <laughs> so, we picked up a bag from Home Bargains. Do you know how hard it was to walk in there and not do a normal shop haul? Oh my god, I walked in because they're getting like all the new spring bits and again they had Easter and Mother's Day bits and I was like, no, you're just going in for Valentine's Day bits, Shan, don't get distracted. But oh my god, it was so hard and I need to get down there quick because there was quite a few things I saw there and I'm thinking if they're not here when I next come, Shannon Lee, you have to let yourself down. But let's have a look. We've got quite a bit in here. So, what do we start with? I thought this was really good. This was 99p and it is a weekly planner and it's just got each day of the week a to-do list and then personal goals. And at the bottom it says mwah, mwah. So I just thought that was fabulous. If you have a special lady or a man in your life, anyone who loves to be organised, then you can't go wrong. And I just thought it's a nice little touch. It's not dated or anything, so it's not like a diary or a journal where you have specific dates. So you can put week, whatever, third of Feb, da 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 da, and then put it in. And the only thing, it's not magnetic, but if you've got like a desk or a table in your hallway or living room, you can just jot your bits down and then you've got yourself a little planner. And then, you know, we've got to feature some candles and <laughs> Not gonna lie, it was an excuse for me to buy candles for myself because I'm running out of them. So we picked up two sets of Wickford and Co. I just love the colours of these as well. So sugar dusted cherry. These are one pound, and as I say, these ones were picked up primarily because they're pink, like a love colour. But I also saw this one, sweet berries and honey blossom scent, and I thought they was quite lovely as well. So 
if you've got a lady or a man or anyone as i say who loves a bit of candles can't go wrong as i say i am going to try and branch out trying the wickford and co big candles like the yankee size because i said in one of my previous hauls i get worried using bigger candles that are not of a more known brand because i've heard some horror stories but i've had quite a few of you say that you've used the wickford and co jar candles and you haven't had any problems so i am going to try them out because like 3.99 or 4.99 for a large candle compared to yankee which is sometimes 25.99 it'll be very good for my bank balance right this is a staple i believe this was one pound or one pound 29 it's a mug everyone loves a good mug i am a mug addict i do collect them and i'm slowly getting brandon into a mug collection because for most occasions i just buy him one and then before you know it he's gonna have as many as me and he won't be able to moan at me when i go out and buy a mug every time but i just thought this was so cute it is a dinky size though that's the only thing this could probably be a nice size for what would i use in this it's gonna sound really weird but sometimes i just love a cup of hot milk so that could be the perfect size but it just says we be long together and it's a little love bee but yes i don't think i will be giving this one to brandon because he'll probably be like no he likes a big cup so that will go for me and i'll treat myself to a new mug okay hey how right what is in here oh come on you know i can't do any type of haul without bath products this was 99p again and i thought it was very fitting with the theme of love and valentine's it was a little pair of lips bath fizzer and as i say it doesn't tell you the scent so i'm not quite sure but can't really smell much either it's probably gonna be what strawberry raspberry along those lines but for 99p fabulous and even if you've got someone whose birthday runs around near valentine's day I mean, they're cute little bits to pick up, right? Or is that just me? Who knows? Oh. As you will have seen in my B&M hauls, I can't use adult masks. Um, my face is just too diddy. The only masks that I have found that actually fit my face are the children's ones. But they're the children's, you know, like the medical grades ones. The blue, and I've got them in a print as well. But I really wanted to try and get a material one. And when I saw this for one pound, I was just like, oh my God, I need it. It's Valentine's Day, it's hearts, and it's children, and it's machine washable one size fits most should we try i know i've got red lipstick on and i'm probably going to really regret this after but let's just get it out and see if it's as good as the other ones oh my god right right yeah it's gonna fit i can just test it and i really don't want to ruin it i know you can wash it but like first time wearing it i don't want to ruin it but how cute is that guys like and then i can just be like Happy Valentine's Day. Love it. I will be wearing that for the week of Valentine's. And then more candles. I love these, but I don't know after where I'm going to be able to pick up heart-shaped tea lights. But there was only 99p each, so it's not going to... If I have to chuck the holders out, I have to chuck the holders out. But I like to try and do something with them. So I picked up two packs of eight tea lights. And they are red and pink, just in the shape of little hearts. So as I say, I need a lot of warmth in my room. So these will be going straight out with my new tea lights. And I might even put out a few of my little votives that I picked up from our last B&M haul. Because I put all my votive holders away and then got some. So now I'm going to have to rearrange the room again, basically. Oh well. And then this, I have picked one up for me and Brandon because he's kind of become addicted to hot chocolate at the moment. And most evenings he will FaceTime me and be like, look at my hot chocolate. And we all know, ladies, come on, the females do a better hot chocolate than most men. We have all the little details, you know? So yes, um, he calls me every night. Well, most nice to tell me that. So I picked up two little hot chocolate stirrers as i say these were 99p and i just thought they were fabulous so we've got them and then we've got a shopping list so if you know someone 
again it matches the other unit this was 99p and it is also magnetic so yes that was fabulous and then we've got two more candles these i love because you can wash them out and reuse the jars after these were 99p once again there's just one that says my heart melts for you and then the other one is just a little printed white and pink heart don't really smell of much but hey ho and then the last one a rose this was 99p and it is an artificial rainbow rose i absolutely love this and i'm probably going to trim it down and pop it in my beauty and the beast cabinet home bargains you are done now too sorry if the angle slightly changed my lovelies battery died on me and then last but not least good old poundland i was in my element in poundland i'm not gonna lie i feel like poundland had the best assortment i would say poundland home bargains and then the range as i say b and m i was quite saddened when i went in there but i'm hoping they're going to bring it through for the easter so fingers crossed they will come back through but for now let's focus on poundland right I got one for me and I got one for B. I just thought for like a pound, how can you not? So he can have this when he's doing his gaming. He always minds that his gaming chair hasn't got like enough neck support. So he can have that. And then I've just got my little one. I don't know what I'm going to do with my one or where I'm going to put it. But yes, we've just got our little cushions. And not that I probably need another cushion for my bed or the um, unit in the back room. But, you know, for a quid why not it's in the month of love let's spread some positivity and then right i can't show you this because this is actually brandon's card so yes because i'm not gonna lie last year i got his card and bits and bobs from tesco and tesco's card prices are creeping up when i had to get his birthday card which i got the other day hmm it was almost £3.50 and he doesn't really like cards but I'm one of these people I have to give a card like I have to write a card I give it to him he reads it he puts it on his shelf and then whenever I can see him next he will probably tell me to put it in the memory box so yes but if any ah uh, sorry I've got new lashes on and you know like it irritates me but yes I will be dropping these off to him because his birthday is a couple of days before Valentine's I will be dropping these at his doorstep on the morning of his birthday and then we will be opening them well he'll be opening them to me on FaceTime so yes still socially distanced which is fabulous oh and I've ripped the Poundland bag that's even great because now mum won't be able to use it and she'll be mummy right bath products yet again and for a quid come on you can't go wrong this is luxury strawberry fizz bubble bath i loved the packaging i just thought it was so cute and snazzy and you know what why not you can make a loved one feel extra special pouring in their fizz and as i say if you get them a bottle of fizz or say pink gin everyone's a winner ah these are for me but i'm probably gonna have to put a few for brandon i just got a pack for a pound for love hearts does anyone remember at school you used to get them and then you'd like give them to your best friends with whatever message on how times have changed i can't imagine if say they done a hearts like love hearts edition for 2021 what some of the sayings would be i dread to think like i'm going back what four years three four years when i was single bearing in mind i come out of a seven year relationship and i was mortified i was like so anti-men and i'm thinking if this is the way that men talk to women i'd rather be single for the rest of my life so yes can you imagine a 2021 edition of love hearts of like what men say to women nowadays don't get me wrong there are some really nice men still out there but the majority that I came across in my time just put me off men for life, to be honest. But then B come along and the rest is history. <laughs> but yes, yeah, slightly went off on a tangent there. And then, oh, I love this. What is up with this? Oh, it's just a sticker. Right, hold on a minute, because as I say, I've got no nails, so it's quite hard to peel stuff off. I love this. I thought this was so cute. For one pound, you know what I'm like with my little fake plants? It's like a little heart cactus. 
and it's just this plain white ceramic pot with little red hearts and yeah a little like heart cactus and it's got really nice like is it pea shingle or like stones I don't quite know what it's called but I just thought it was cute and I'm gonna put that where can I put that I'm gonna put that with my little dog plant that I got from B&M so I mean you ain't just gotta have it up for Valentine's Day we can just spread the love all year round and then what have we got this is definitely a box of goodies oh <gasps> yes I cannot wait to get these up mummy's gonna go mad because as you will tell in the background I have some rose lights which one has fallen down clearly my blue tag skills ain't as good as they used to be and then I've got the flowers around the top of my bed but when I saw these for a quid it's a little pack of eight pom-pom lights I just thought they were so cute so I don't quite know where I'm gonna wire these around oh my god I could wire them in with my tinsel oh <gasps> you'll probably see that in another video or vlog upcoming but yes pom-pom lights for one pound and then am i the only one who just loves the new key ring and when it's a fluffy gray heart i mean i just loved it so yes this is perfect like as well if say i don't know oh my god i'm gonna sneeze again <coughs> all good <laughs> oh yeah yeah these are actually really good as well for mother's day presents every mother's day without a doubt i will get mum a new wine glass magnet pen and key ring like her collection is quite excessive but i just think they're fabulous and this is great because it's actually got a little hook on it so if you just had like a newly i don't know what could you put on it if you just wanted something dainty like just your house key or just your car key because my key rings are a little excessive and i kind of got everything on one but i do want to try and separate my house key from my car key because sometimes if i'm going out and i'm not going in the car and i just want to like quickly put me key in the pocket i can't because it's quite bulky so maybe that'll be my new house key key ring who knows and then along the theme of like roses and we all know i love a bit of beauty in the bees i saw this for a quid and you know what i've got no idea how it's gonna go i'm sure you will see this out on display either in the beauty in the beast unit or on the backdrop somewhere but it was this rose cloche clock I don't know how you pronounce the second word, but it's just like a little mini Beauty and the Beast one. And it's got a little furry light around it. And it says that it lights up. So I'll be happy to try that out because as you will know, I've got quite a few. I've got the Beauty and the Beast rose one on my dressing table, which is the touch lamp one. That's what B got me. And then I've got one in my cabinet that lights up. I picked that up from Primark a couple of years ago. And now I've got that one. And then the last piece, my lovely, for one pound yet again a single rose with a vase i mean it's not bad quality for a quid come on my lovelies and the vase is quite good so even if you didn't want to have the plastic rose get this keep the vase and you could put like a proper rose or oh my god can i put my could put me rainbow one in so yeah i don't know what i'm going to do with this once again is it going to go in the beauty and the beast cabinet or is it going... Shan, don't sneeze again. No, please don't say I'm coming down with a proper cold now because I've just been out to next. I had to pick something up and it started to snow. It's not like settling, it's sleep, but I underestimated how cold it was and my hands, yes, were quite chilly. Anyway, oh my God, don't say I'm going to do it again. That's going to be three in a video. It passed, it passed. <laughs> So yes, I don't know if with this whether it's going to go in the cabinet or I'm going to put it out on display anywhere. And then I might add my other little rose to it as well. But that, my lovelies, is all three shots done. So what did you think? As I say, I would have loved to have done a bigger haul. I would have loved to have some bits from B&M in there, but they just didn't have it. And I think because it is quite last minute, like I picked these up, what, the week before Valentine's Day? So I wasn't expecting much because i think the shops had valentine's day bits from like middle of jan in some of our places so but i think i've done pretty well with the bits and bobs that we've got um as i say the candles that for moi um didn't really need to have an excuse for them i needed candles and when i knew i was doing a haul i thought you know what i can get some love candles because i haven't actually got any like love holders so when i saw these 
I love these ones, especially My Heart Melts For You. And it's just a classic style. And so I don't really smell them much, just quite fresh. But I can keep the holders and buy some bits and bobs on there. Yes, next. Thank you. I have collected my order from store. But yes, this will be for like when I move out. As I say, I've got great ideas for that. And the plaque I just thought was hilarious. So yes, please do let me know what your plans are for Valentine's Day. Will you be with your loved one? Are you unfortunately on your own because Boris has put us in lockdown? Will you be doing anything though? I'll probably just binge a murder or a true crime series. What more could a girl want on Valentine's Day, eh? But yes, as I say, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do, guys. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment of your favourite bit or if you've managed to pick any bits up or if your B&M actually had some stock not like mine. But yes, the only other things I would say in addition to this, which I didn't pick anything up, would be Lush. That's a fab bit for someone who loves some bath products. I did a haul on them, what, a couple of weeks ago now? down there up there you know the drill i link it alcohol as i say if they like a good drink or tea coffee if they're like a nice tea coffee drinker bickies everyone loves a snack or you could get i really like the idea of this but it's a bit short notice and i think you do need quite a while to get for some of them it's the sweet trees so i would love oh my god my favorite one would be a ferrera rocher tree but if you had like your partner or even yourself your favourite sweet, your favourite chocolate. You can get so many handmade sweet trees, which are just fabulous. But yes, I'm rambling, as I say. I do hope you have a lovely day. Enjoy your day. Get spoiled. Pamper yourself if you're not with your loved one. And yeah, let's roll on for next year where we can hopefully go out for a nice meal and get drunk. Who knows? Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!